this guy right here that goes by the name Ben of East is the most talked about individual in the whole of crypto right now. You might be asking why? Because he said he wanted to create a crypto project called Psyop and then he asked people to send him money for the pre-sale. Guess how much people sent him? 6.9 million US dollars. A staggering sum of 6.9 million US dollars. In fact, in the first hour of the pre-sale, he had already raked in about 1 million US dollars. And by the end of the pre-sale, in about 72 hours, he had raked in 6.9 million US dollars. And now he said he was going to launch the contract after the pre-sale. The pre-sale is now over. The contract is not yet launched. And the people who sent him money are freaking out already. Everybody's saying all sorts of things about him. Do we know who this guy is? Is there evidence to know who this guy is? It all started with the success of Pepe. As Pepe broke the internet, he decided to make his own meme coin. And he named it Ben. And I think the choice of the name Ben is actually strategic because this is the name of one famous influencer called Big Boy Crypto. Probably he named this coin Ben to get his attention. And if this was the reason he succeeded, because Big Boy Crypto came on board. And he came on board when the Ben token was almost dead. And the token suddenly resurrected. Because as you can see right here, he's a big crypto influencer over 1 million followers here and on YouTube over 1 million about 1.4 million followers also so Ben gave an official announcement huge Ben announcement I did not launch the project but I'm now taking it over a hundred percent while BitBoy Crypto is on course to acquiring the Ben token the entire internet is asking who is Ben.eth I found an interesting thread about him this guy here says Ben has been active in the NFT space since May 2021. He says he had casually tweeted on and off about events in the Web3, but was not well known as a big voice. Okay, and uh, if we continue, he says Ben changes whole personality with the start of the Pepe Run and the meme coin season. So Ben started tweeting about meme, the meme coin Pepe and used that to start getting attention. Ben's story could have ended with the tweet about PEP token, but it didn't stop there. What happened? He decided to launch the Ben token, like I told you earlier on, named it strategically after the guy called Big Boy Crypto, Ben Armstrong, and Ben Armstrong came in. He then moved on and started a new project, and now he calls it the Sire project, like I told you earlier on. Some people think all of this was basically to gain attention, as this guy here also thinks. Say what you will about Ben, but he has mastered the attention game. He bought a My Lady token with the presale wallet, and of course, everyone freaked out. Understand what's going on here? He did turns into the presale wallet and bought a My Lady NFT. Of course, everybody started talking about it. People started freaking out. Those who had invested were afraid that D was gonna rock them all. And in my estimation, this has been calculated as well. He could have used an alternative wallet, but he didn't. It was another successful attempt to get attention. I think that's correct. This guy is basically trying to get attention. But what we don't know is if this thing is going to have a happy end. The question is whether this story will end with a happy end or a full-on disaster. What do you think? Leave your thoughts in the comment section. This guy right here says he used to be the developer for Ben.eth as you can see from his tweet I was the developer of at Ben.eth first for the sign-up contract I've never worked for someone more unprofessional or deranged and due to this I left the team before payment I have credible evidence that Ben does not intend for this to be a fair launch or even project he continues he says he coded a transfer function in the contract he says this function allows while listed wallets to transfer coins from any wallet holding the coin to a target wallet. Ben had asked me numerous times in voice chat how many wallets we could whitelist. Later that day, Arthur suddenly joined the Psyop team and it was at this moment I was no longer comfortable working on this contract and I forfeited my payment of 1 million US dollars to be paid in Psyop upon launch. So do you guys believe this guy? He's saying he was the one that developed the Psyop contract that used to work for Ben. And Ben, in his opinion, was not ready to launch this project that was ready to dupe people. 
What do you think? Leave your thoughts in the comment section.